So we are talking about the 2016 found footage sci-fi movie, The Darkest Dawn. Now, the premise of this film is in the UK, there is an alien attack. We don't know quite what it is, first of all, but ultimately that's what it is. And it focuses on a group of survivors, predominantly these, these two sisters, basically, one of which who is video documenting everything with a seemingly unlimited battery. And uh, th throughout their travels, basically, they meet up with a kind of a bunch of other people and this kind of group of survivors are traversing to try to get out of London, ultimately head towards the, uh, uh, a particular location going through the country. And they kind of meet up with a variety of other kind of you know, survivors and people, basically. And then we find out more about the, kind of the, the alien menace as they are using these kind of parasites to control people. So budgetary reasons. And uh, that's it, pretty much your movie, um, without kind of going into spoilers. So, what do I think of The Darkest Dawn? I have mixed feelings about this film because I feel it was... It's quite ambitious. I always feel sci-fi movies are the, the, the hardest thing to pull off on, on, a, on a low budget because the effects can just look so bad, it just looks like it can turn people off big time. Now, I have mixed feelings in regards to whether, the way they do this because there are a, quite a lot of shots of... Um, destroyed London and kind of ship going overhead. The way they used the found footage, I feel, was smart because obviously it kind of cut, maybe covers up some of the budgetary constraints and you only see kind of brief glimpses of things. And what you do see, yeah, it does look on the cheaper side, but I feel you see it so briefly, you can kind of forgive it. So I didn't think the effects looked too bad in, in the respect, in, if you keep in mind, obviously, that it is a, a kind of a lower budget film. Um, it does kind of annoy me that the, the conceit of using, you know, humans that have been controlled by the aliens, purely because obviously we know that we don't want to spend out for, you know, costumes and things like that. So that kind of always bugs me. It, do, it does smack of that. Um, the acting, I would say, is also a mixed bag. There are some, uh, some okay performances, I would say. Certainly the younger sister, who is, I suppose, our, our point of view, is, is, is not so bad. The older sister, I didn't think, was a particularly good actress. And some of the peripheral characters, well, again, varying degrees of acting ability for me. But um, not so bad. One of the things that bugged me about this film is the, kind of just the, uh, the, the, the small little logic issues. Like I've mentioned, the battery just seems to go on forever on this camera. Um, and they're traversing through the woods. It's not as if they, she can plug it in or anything like that. They, they seem to pick up guns so easily and this is a uk and finding guns isn't quite as easy as you would think if, if you were to watch this film food they, they, they constantly complain about food but no one attempts like fishing or hunting or anything like that basically um every single person they meet seems to have seemed to be armed it kind of definitely has a walking dead feel to a certain degree and you know it's particularly aggressive and i think how long has this been this you'd make you'd think this this was almost like been years into this apocalypse but it hasn't it's been like you know a few days and people have already kind of like turned into kind of savages so there's some kind of like some basic things here that kind of just bug me um for me though when we get to the point where they kind of meet a group of military personnel and this is where the kind of the more of the alien threat kind of comes in and becomes a little bit more to the forefront i really felt that that lost some steam and just became a little bit trite and cheesy it, there is a fair amount of action scenes here and they, they are relatively well shot i've got to say but the, the plot just becomes ugh, kind of ugh, cheap and stupid and i don't really like it from that point on but prior to that where we kind of having this kind of this, this mystery so to speak about we don't really know what's going on and it's kind of more of a um survival horror film to a certain degree then that, that i actually liked a little bit better uh for its budget i would say it, it isn't they've not done a bad job though I will, i'll give it that i feel the ambition here is 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 pretty good and they've been fairly smart in the way they've kind of tried to kind of uh mask the problems obviously the, the fact that it's a low budget film but ultimately i i found this a little bit uninteresting and, and uneven to be honest with you um i've certainly seen worse i feel this definitely had some uh some positive points in regards to um the way that it's, it's tackled a sci-fi film which like i said is tough to do on the low budget um Overall, I give this movie a 4 out of 10. Bit uneven for me. Uh, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.